Hello fellow Zuba Kings and Queens, welcome to Court Royal, and in today's video your entertainer Zuba King will be teaching you all how to play Duke. Before we get started guys, I'd like to give a shout out to King Player for suggesting this Duke how to play. Uh, I've played a couple games with King Player, actually more than a couple, quite a lot. He's a great Zuba player, he comments all the time, so yeah, just again, huge shout out. Thanks for commenting, and I always love seeing your name in the comments section. Yo, what's happening guys? Zuba King here with another Zuba How to Play tutorial. And in today's video, we'll be doing Duke, obviously. And I'm basically just going to be walking through some basic gameplay skills, what you're going to need to do to successfully play as Duke. As you can see, I have my Duke to level 10. Uh, I used to play him a lot, I knew some basic skills, so let's go ahead and hop right in and see what I got. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with his items as usual. Uh, actually, I'm actually gonna change this up a bit. I've been getting better about not using adrenaline, so I'm gonna stick toolkit on here. Uh, as for toolkit, I'm gonna explain why. So when you're playing Duke, the element of surprise is gonna come in handy very, very well. You're gonna want to hide a lot. Now, what I mean by hide is I don't want you to just camp in toolkit. Anyone can do that. I want you to use it to your advantage. So stay unknown to people. So if you see someone, maybe throw a barrel on, so they don't know it's you. They don't know it's a Duke. Hide in a bush, but don't do it the whole game. Just do it when you're getting into a fight. It just makes things a lot easier uh, when you're fighting opponents because they know they don't know. Hey, I need to run right now. It's a Duke. Uh, jungle shoes, obviously, because he's a tank, and you're just gonna need them for catching up to run and hide characters like Nick, Smalley, just Skippy, stuff like that. Uh, vampire fangs. Normally, I would definitely recommend bandages, and the reason I would recommend bandages is because. Duke's passive is he goes faster when he uh, gets damaged. So with Duke, you actually kind of want to take damage, and bandage can actually be kind of like a, hey, you're taking damage, so we're going to give you some of that health back. So I would normally recommend damage or er, a bandage, however, I do not have this, so vampire teeth will have to suffice. Items I don't recommend, obviously, clown nose aren't, isn't going to be very good here. Uh, happy trees are good because he's a tank. I do not recommend... Uh, a fire repellent. I mean, it's not that huge of a deal. What in literal crap just happened? No idea what happened there. Uh, as for Molotov, I don't see it being huge. You're all about quick attacks here. People usually aren't hanging around you. you. Snorkel, I mean, it's decent for hiding. I don't see a need for it. If you had a fourth item slot, maybe coffee or uh, holy sandals, something like that. Let's go to attributes. So, I don't know why I have range on bow. I honestly think velocity would be better for the bow. So, the bow and the shotgun, you're going to want more velocity on than range. This is because most of the time you're going to be roaring and you're already up close to said character. So, you don't need a lot of range. Bomb, I suggest range on. This is because with your bomb, this is what you're going to do as a last ditch effort. As you're hitting them as they're running away and over walls and stuff. So, you need a little bit more range on your bomb. That's really all I have for items and attributes. Let's go ahead to gameplay. Alright guys, loading up here. We're going to start with some basic tips for Duke. Number one, you're going to want to stay near bushy areas. Obviously, I'm going to talk about placement as I always do in every single video. But that's going to be for later. So, what you're going to want to do is just go around collecting weapons. Unfortunately, Nick took that weapon there for me. Oh, I... Yeah, Duke is not one of my favorite characters, unfortunately. He is a very powerful character, I just am not a huge fan of tanks, and you guys know that. So, what you're going to want to do is, so he's actually, I would compare him almost to Larry, where you're going to want to stay relatively unnoticed. That's going to be tip one, stay unnoticed. What I mean by this is, you don't want people to know where you are, because what I'm trying to say is, if people don't know where you are, then they're not going to be wary of you. I've said this multiple times. Oops, I just flagged. I've said this multiple times in the past. The current meta for Zuba is run and hide. Hide, meaning most character setups, most characters that people are maining, they're all based around uh, based around how fast can I hide, how far can I run to kill, ev not to kill anybody. Lots of low kill winners, lots of campers. Just unfortunately, that's how it is. So with Duke, you're gonna want to be hiding a little bit. Just stay unnoticed, similar to a Larry. You're going to want to sneak up on people, don't chase people, or you're going to get boom dashed by Nixes and stuff. It's just not a smart idea. Um, the reason for this being, well, you have to be able to kill them, 
and unfortunately, they're not going to let you unless it's a complete surprise attack. So that's what you got for step one of playing Duke like a legend. Let's go ahead and move on to some other tactics. Tactic two being muscle memory and uh, self-control. Now, you're not going to hear a lot of this from people saying, hey, you need to have self-control while playing video games. But I'm going to say it. You need to have self-control while playing video games. And what I mean by this is, rather than just attacking all at once, using all your weapons like you would maybe a Skippy or a Jade, Duke's not like that. His weapons take a long time to reload, they're very unwieldy, however they do deal a decent amount of damage. So if you miss your roar, you're not going to want to immediately spam all your weapons very quickly. So, assuming I miss my roar right now, I'm not going to immediately want to just throw all my crap, because now I have a very long cooldown timer, which is surprisingly not that long, I remember it being longer. But I have a long cooldown before my roar happens. Some of my weapons have a rather long cooldown. It's just overall not a great idea to get stuck with no weapons. Especially as a tank who's just a magnet for damage. So here we are. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I was able to snag that kill right there. They dashed towards me. So attempting to hide again, you want to get the element of surprise when it comes to fighting Nixes. So... Yeah. Back to the self-control point. You want to, if you mess up, see I messed up badly there. Rather than firing off all my weapons, I retained myself. I had self-control. And, you know, it ended up working out pretty decently. I didn't take too much damage. So let's go ahead and just jump right into step three. That's going to be just abusing his passive. So as you can see, his passive allows me to go faster when I take damage. Now I'm getting boom dashed very heavily here. And that's expected. I mean, I'm level 10. They're level 8. I'm really kind of screwed here just because I'm getting boom dashed. Hopefully, I'm going to force them into the fire. Oh, they killed me. Oh, crap. I forgot I don't have adrenaline shot, guys. Oh, that was going to be such an epic win, too. I mean, good good job. Uh, gerbil is... I don't even understand how that's supposed to work. doesn't go with the, my language at all. But, so those are the three tips for Duke. Abusing the passive, uh, staying hidden and very secretive about where you are, and uh, lastly, you're going to want to just don't have self-control. Don't waste all your shots because in the end, that's going to really cost you. All right, I'm going to flip to a clip explaining exactly where you want to be in the map when fighting, and then I think that's going to be it, guys. Alrighty, guys, now we're going to talk about placement for Duke. Duke is an interesting character because, like I said, you're going to want to hide a lot as Duke because, as you know, he's not very good at, um, you know, chasing people. Stuff like that's pretty bad for Duke. Also, since you're going to have the jungle item, uh, item, jungle shoes item equipped, it's definitely a good idea to stay near bushes. So the best places for Duke are going to be over here near the savanna, as you can see, in those bushy areas where you can just sprint through it, get lots of kills. Another great place to be is going to be around these bushy areas over here. These are the places, these are just absolutely stunning places to be because you have all that bush potential for hiding. Little places to poke out. Places you don't want to be. Worst place for Duke is going to be the museum. This is because there's lots of walls, places you can't shoot over with the regular shotgun or bow. Simply angle angles and stuff are not good for his roar. It's just a really terrible place to be as Duke. You don't want to be stuck there. Other places like this are going to be probably around this area where there's lots of blo blocks where people can hide. Uh, the igloo's decent. Ice area is decent because he can slide around. And there's some tiny bushes. Again, not the best place to be, but it's decent. These houses up here, bad for Duke. This middle house would be pretty decent because... Oh, that's a little smiley face. That was terrible. It, they're decent because, I mean... You can hide in there and one-tap people who walk in. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this How to Play on Duke. As always, thanks for watching, have an outstanding day, and I will see you in the zoo.